Hey everyone, it's Mishta, and I have had so much madness lately, I have not been able to keep up with the videos, okay? Um, uh, first of all, I am like so excited, and, uh, okay, ah, okay, hair is going crazy. Okay, first of all, I'm probably not going to get to edit this, so I'll try not to make it too long, but I have been so excited and proud of myself that I have been working really hard at the dispensary. I have had like four day weeks repeatedly and I've been able to do it every day and even got to do help out extra and it's really it feels good for me <laughs> it feels really good to me because it's been so long since I was able to work and do like physical stuff repeatedly and and successfully and have it all really happen and it's been crazy and I, it's been really hard to get used to it i love my job i really do here i'm gonna try to put these back on i have a piece of hair that was like attached to them and i don't know where it's going so <laughs> but then i can't see <laughs> but um anyways uh i really love my job and it's been so amazing and i've been really proud of myself that i've been able to do it every day and just really trying to keep it together with my 420 shorty videos because I've got like uh, 2,200 subscribers almost now and I'm really happy about that and I keep getting more and more every week so I'm really trying to keep up with the good videos and keep that going and you can see my girls are doing awesome behind me and it's been amazing just being able to really have a job an actual regular job where I can help people get the right kind of cannabis for them that helps them heal or helps them not have PTSD so bad or helps them, you know, with, you know, arthritis or whatever else, you know, cancer, everything. Uh, we, it's, it's just an amazing job. I love it. I love helping so many different people and it's just awesome. And, you know, it's the perfect job for me, but it's so hard because it's really, it's taxing. Like you're teaching people about cannabis and what can be good for them each day probably maybe probably about a hundred times every day you're working with a, an individual that doesn't totally know what they want or what they may need and you just got to help guide them to the stuff that you know hopefully will help them and it's it's a real it's awesome i really love it but it's a really big challenge at the same time and whew, the bugs are starting to come out <laughs> so i'll try to make this quick but um, i love the lighting out here and i love the fact that i'm getting to be in my garden and i don't know if you can see but my vegetables back there are amazing they really are and i actually have my tomatoes way over here so those are freaking awesome i mean they're all my plants are doing amazing even though i got such a late late start and I'm really you know I'm really happy with how my life is going right now and it's been really awesome but I've had a couple of down things that happened like the big tarby was not working well with my system I had like uh, hormonal reactions to it I guess and um, like my periods were really heavy and really painful and I was really moody and kind of negative about everything and so when I went and talked to my doctor, I think that's one of the last videos I put up, was um, I had gone and talked to my doctor and was gonna get switched back to the other meds. Well, I also didn't take a few of the allergy medicines that they wanted me to take because I was having reactions to the Big Tarvey already and I didn't wanna have more reactions to them if I was going to, and then have them not think it was Big Tarby and not change me back. So I think that made sense. <laughs> but anyways, I, it was it was a really hard choice, but, but since I wasn't having all the allergy stuff going on, and I think that the sinus infection had worked its way through, I wasn't having to use all the sinus medicine anyways. And so I didn't ever take it when I was on the Big Tarby because I didn't want to have any reactions to anything else and have them not noticed that the big tarby is actually doing stuff to me so and they were not normal symptoms of like all kinds of people they were just me symptoms so i mean 
there might be other people like me that may have like hormonal reactions to it. I don't know, but I seriously did and it was really bad. And hopefully when my son comes back, he'll tell me that I am, I'm not so moody and down and I'm feeling better. And I mean, I really feel like I'm feeling better because I've had no big crying spells and craziness and all that since my son's been gone on vacation and I've been working all the time and even when I get up and I'm in so much pain I just have to take my oil and like barely barely build the claw out of bed then I still I'm happy I'm still going I can do this I'm doing this and it's like I may not have time to hang out with my friends or do all my videos I want to do but I'm still doing this I'm making my life happen and change and helping people and and doing positive things for my life you know I mean now hopefully I'm gonna have enough money to pay the bills and, and all this and you know it's I don't know <laughs> it's just so exciting to go from walking with a cane a couple years ago to taking this oil every day and having it change my life to where I can go back to work and do all these things and help people find their way to hopefully do successes like that you know I mean this has been amazing and I mean I can almost run now and I mean not a marathon or anything but like you know from door to door if I needed to get out in a fire I could do it you know and it's like I'm really proud of myself and I'm really getting better and better and hopefully you know I can wean off of you know being disabled and wean into being fully not and I don't know we'll see how that goes <laughs> we'll see how it goes but it's like I'm, I'm exhausted all the time but I still feel amazing that I can do this and I'm hoping that it will be long-lived instead of short-lived so um, we will keep going and I, I will keep or I'll keep you posted <laughs> but um, I'm gonna keep going as much as I can and you know just keep doing it and you know I really I wanted to get another video out there because I haven't been able to even get the videos up for my son's birthday and it's almost my daughter's birthday tomorrow and so it's been so crazy I haven't gotten any videos out that I really wanted to because I've just had so much to do and so much you know working with the garden and the the 420 shorty channel and working and studying for work and I'm learning so many different things about that cannabis can do for you and it's just it's amazing it's amazing and so many different products that we have you know it's so awesome so I just I wanted to get a quick video out there but it's really not even that quick anymore <laughs> but um, I love the lighting it's been really awesome right now it's nice and cooled off it was like over 110 that was the last time I looked at the thermometer. It was 110. I went, oh, I don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> and thanks to my new AC that it's been so comfortable inside and I haven't been sick all summer since I got it. So I've been really happy about that. I've been able to get to ready to work and, you know, not be sick the whole time and not be getting to work exhausted because I was a heat, you know, overheated and stuff. And so it's pretty awesome only having the hot car to go from one place to the other really. And that's the worst I have to deal with. And that's not bad. You know, I am thankful for that. And, you know, I just keep taking my oil every day, like four times a day and it's amazing you know the CBD oil is amazing and that's why I grow CBD plants and that's why I I love you know and I grow the white widow to have the part that's still keeping the cancer at bay and you know I, I you know take that one at night and I need to sleep and you know it's just an amazing plant and it's helped me so much I'm so happy that I get to help other people you know have it help them <laughs> But, you know, I love my job and I can't say enough about it and I can't say enough about how happy I'm about that. And I really, I'm happy to be back on the other meds because I know what I'm dealing with with these and I know that I can't take a lot of other things with them. But at the same time, they seem to work and they don't seem to make me all crazy and moody and have hard periods and whatever. And I don't want to have that. I had that when I was a kid and, you know, I should just leave it behind, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so excited. My hair is just going down. I want it to be all spiky. <laughs> but no, um, I'm probably just going to try to put this video up as soon as possible because I want to be able to give a shout out happy birthday to my baby girl. And hopefully this video will be up by midnight <laughs> and I can be saying it on her birthday. 
and I really love her. She's been my rock this whole, my whole time being HIV positive. I mean, I found out I was HIV positive when I was pregnant with her. So it's amazing. It's, it, I mean, she's 22 today or tomorrow and I just, I love her so much. And she's helped me through so many times. Even when she was little, she would go to the doctors with me and like march in there and be like, I'm helping my mommy be brave. And it was just, everybody was like, ah! you know and loved her and it made everything so much easier to deal with because they could see that I didn't pass it on to my kid and it was like this miracle thing of medical science that they a lot of people got to experience and it's like because of her and me and our relationship and the way that she's helped me so many times get through doctors and so many things that, you know, she's helped teach a lot of people a lot of things too, you know, especially about stigma and about just being brave and helping other people. Mm, excuse me, I won't get all choked up. <clears throat> and helping other people like her mom be brave. And, you know, it's, it's just amazing. So happy birthday, baby girl. I love you. And I'm so glad that you're, you know, 2022 and big hugs and kisses and lots of horror movies tomorrow. <laughs> so, oops, I'm back into the wet. Ah. But anyways, um, I just wanted to be able to tell people about how sometimes meds don't work for you. And the Big Tar V did not work for me. It was not right for me hormonally. It did change my attitude a lot. It changed my, uh, like my periods. It changed a lot of things that were happening with me. And, you know, it even, I kind of changed my hair. It kind of made it go straight again. And I didn't like that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not, I don't know. I think women especially can have a lot of things react to them hormonally and just to be careful out there and watch out for that. And tell your doctor what you're going through. And, you know, I waited two months, you know, I waited two full cycles to make sure that I was having this crazy bad time with it before I went, hey, you know what? I really can't deal with it anymore. And on top of all that, though, it was making me feel like I had diarrhea all the time. You know, even if I didn't have diarrhea, it was making my stomach just uh, all, you know, gurgly and grumbly and like I couldn't hold going to the bathroom all the time. And so that was really scary to me, too, because I wasn't sure if like while I'm at work, I was just going back and forth to the bathroom and freaking out. And, you know, and it's like it really sucked. It was hard for me. And I was really happy to switch back because I knew what I was going to deal with. And even though I might have, you know, some more more bone pain or whatever, it's my oil counteracts that and I can deal with that. And I have less diarrhea because I know what to eat on those. You just eat a high fiber diet and then you're good. But with these new Victarvi, I didn't know what to do. And it was hard to counteract all the things because I wasn't always having diarrhea. So a high fiber diet wasn't changing it. It was just everything in my inner, gastrointestines, I guess, in my stomach and my intestines, all that was just gassy and yuck and just jumbly. Like I was having diarrhea all the time and that's what I felt like out all the time. And so thank God I wasn't having it all the time or else I probably wouldn't have kept my job. But yeah, I'm <laughs> if I had it as much as I felt like I had it, I probably would not have kept checked my, or I would not have kept my job. So thank God for that and thank the goddess for that. <laughs> Um, but anyways, it's making the long video longer. <laughs> I should say goodbye. And it's getting dark and I want to go play fetch with my baby girl. My Savannah banana. So I can't believe that she hasn't come over here with the ball and knocked over the camera yet. So I, yeah, I'm going to play the ball with her while I have a minute. And, uh, yeah. So please have a peaceful day and like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, Keep watching because, you know, who knows? I might have some good advice for you. And, you know, I really, you know, I just want to be able to help people and help them realize that even if you go through something crazy like that, when the meds are really screwing you up, just stick with it, listen to your doctor, but talk to them at the same time. Make sure you're adamant about things that are happening to you. Write them down. You know, I had my son with me, and now if I was on new meds, I'd be trying to write stuff down and or having my coworkers write it down or whatever and have them watch out for it and you know my son i was so happy that he was here to help do that you know he's my other rock you know but it's like even though he hates doctors and all that 
he's still been a rock at, for my home life and for how I act and my attitude and for being able to be a you know positive influence on them rather than a negative depressed one that I was at one time you know so uh, my kids are my life and you know and so is cannabis and you know I just want to say that if you're out there and you're struggling whether HIV positive or not, you know, just keep going and keep trying. And if something doesn't work for you, keep trying for something else and find the thing that does work for you, you know, because we all deserve to be happy and we all can be, <laughs> you know, if we just find the right things. So peace for now and have a great day. <laughs>